Names can be deceiving. For example, the country and people of China are under the control of the Chinese Communist Party. Communist, right? But the Chinese Communist Party, the CCP, clearly states that China is under socialist rule and it is a socialist society because socialism is a stepping stone to communism. So regardless of all the debates on socialism versus communism and regardless of whether you are for or against socialism, to actually see how socialism works, we have a perfect example to look at and to learn from China. The problem is you can't compare China's ruling regime to a Western government. You just can't use Western thinking to understand it. That doesn't work. It's a completely different beast. We had this problem when making our movie Finding Courage. We needed to know how the CCP works, how it operates. So we scoured through official documents, books, speeches, media, but it just wasn't enough. So we searched for former regime officials. And we did find some who were willing to talk to us and some of them were even willing to go on camera. So in our movie, you'll see some of their rare and eye-opening perspectives on China. But out of what they told us, we could only fit really a tiny fraction of that into the movie. They really said things that have personally haunted me for a few years now. So much so that I felt compelled to write their insights and stories into a book of true stories. It's called China's Walking Dead. True stories of what may become of us if socialists kill individual liberties. In China's Walking Dead, you'll read stories that will take you into another world, a world in which communist culture has developed and evolved. For generations now, this communist culture has molded the lives of more than a billion people. It has formed their attitudes toward each other, toward their work, their lives, and towards us. It has pitted them directly against Western values because individual freedom is an enemy of any socialist state. So at a time like today, when the allure of socialism is being touted all across the West, we can look to China. Because China is the best example of what could become of us if we succumb to socialist control. Former Chinese officials, they rarely speak publicly in Western society. They don't write memoirs or exposés. They have been so deeply entrenched in the communist socialist system that they often struggle just to adapt and survive in our culture in the West. Their stories are so valuable, so moving. And we've gone to a lot of effort to understand, to translate and present them to you. We really feel responsible to share what they told us because socialism is right on our doorstep now and we need to know exactly what it does to people. The book will be available soon in print and as an audiobook. So to get your copy, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Twitter or Facebook, or sign up to our website. Thank you for watching and thank you for not turning a blind eye. Now is not the time for that.